Clubsy the Seal? Oh my god! I joined that cult. Would you join that cult? Generic intro to that goes. We're back with some more sounds Smith stereotypes. Today we have episode 7 of the Mist stereotypes, The Engineer. You want to check out my last reaction to the heavy? I'll leave it right there. Also, link down below in the description. Also, being two playlists on my channel the Total Team Fortress 2 one, and then we have just sound Smith stereotype reactions going in chronological order for both of those, of which I watch them. I also have a gaming channel. Also, just before this, I recorded two videos by Winglet. You want to check those out. They went up on the channel on Friday. Uh, patrons got them a day early, just like they got this video a day early. But, ah, uh, man. Uh, also, insane patrons have a chance to win a signed deck like this one. This is going to one of my insane patrons. So, if you want to support the channel, win a sign, have a chance to win a signed deck, get the videos there early, get your name seen by hundreds of thousands of people, you can check out my Patreon. It really, really helps the channel so much. But thank you so much for being here. I hope that you're subscribed to you on those future videos. Gaming channel, like I said, is basically just Team Fortress 2 stuff. Um, gonna learn a lot about the Engineer. Engineer is one of those characters I haven't played really at all. Uh, just there's so much to Engineer, and it's way above my capabilities because I'm still kind of a new player at Team Fortress 2. But I love the game. I love the stereotypes. I'm super excited to get into this one. Um, I guess let's go ahead and jump on into it. I do read all your comments and leave some down below. Kind of I don't know what's character. coming next. This super smart guy that Comics? has 11 PhDs and Is that a seal? somehow can't make a sapper-proof sentry. I don't know. Oh, and he's got cosmetics too. Oh, he does? Is that is that a seal? Is that a seal? Mining light? Whoa, hey, Mine look out. Night. It's an old school gamer coming Mine through. Night. And he's also probably the kind of guy who would point out that I already did this in hat stereotypes. And yeah. yes, I know. I know I already did this. But it's technically a misc, and I would probably get yelled at if I didn't include it too. So, you know, kind of yeah. a damned if you do, damned if you don't kind of situation. So, yeah, uh, might as well. I went Just with the option that extended the runtime of the video. So, Run into yeah. the like I said before, these guys are the kind of NGs who've been playing for a while, and they let that show in their gameplay. Not they me. pick the right spots, they manage their metal I'm appropriately, so and they can game. handle themselves in a fight pretty well. The only problem is they think they're right about everything all the time. Which, granted, they That's usually are right online. when it comes to engineer stuff, but they'll still never back down even if they know they're wrong. So, just <laughs> don't bother. Fair. Let them do their thing, I guess. Hey, yeah, you can't fix stupid, you know? Googly gazer. This guy is a Gmod animator, or at least an SFM animator that does stuff in a Gmod kind of style. See, that might not make very much sense if you're just no, a TF2 player, but if you've seen, like, I've any never Gmod, Gmod poster with the engineer in it ever, then you know exactly who I'm talking about. Hi. Drag gold. So this cosmetic is usually used by the sort of person who... Um, Drinks over the mic. Okay. Uh, anyway, this is usually used by the... Uh, this... Okay. Well, I guess I'll just go ahead and flash it on the screen if you're not gonna let me talk about it, you aspartame-addicted piece of shit. The, the diet soda? Oh, God. Teddy Roosevelt. You know, as cute and non-threatening as this cosmetic might seem, I don't like it as much use it are some tough motherfuckers. Like, really. The ones that I run into are the kind of guys who would say, you know what? Fuck this stalemate and go charging into a choke point with nothing but a Widowmaker and a complete disregard for their own life. Like, that's seriously, not smart, though. we're talking about the class that was designed to play passively and cause stalemates, but these guys are so yeah. crazy aggressive that they might as well be a scoutmate. Of course, them I, being aggressive doesn't always mean that they're actually good. Battle NG. Like, a good 75% of the time, they'll just run in and get their ass handed to them. But still, sometimes it's really cool, and that's what matters. Pencil pusher? This one's pretty straightforward. He's a traitor. I don't like the bald. Yeah, well, I, the mean, I, I guess not Doesn't really. See, this isn't one of those maybe. cosmetics that you'll always see with a high tier unusual effect, since you also sometimes see this used by the I play NG because I think I'm the smartest person in the server types, and they aren't usually oh. traitors. You know, actually, I think that whole kind of archetype isn't necessarily uh -huh. limited to NG. You usually see them on NG soldier or spy. You know, like they're the, really? the ones that are trying to control the entire team over voice chat while simultaneously shit talking whatever. That's why it's like muted. happens to play the class that they're playing. Like, yes, we get it, dude. Tell us more about how Uncle Dane isn't even that good. That'll definitely Uncle make Dane's us not even that good. good Excuse me. Not a pretentious bag of dicks. L Patron. I have this guy is the kind of NG who constantly remember. spams the beginning of the Katsaski kick. Like everyone who does it isn't necessarily gonna have an El Patron, but water. if he's wearing an El Patron, then chances are he's gonna have Patron. the taunt equipped. And once one person starts spamming it, well, it's only a matter of time before the whole server starts doing that stupid dance. Oh, oh, that's the no, dance. No, guys, oh. guys, the other stupid There's dance. bearded. No, the other. Stupid What's the other dance? stupid dance? Uh, <laughs> Wait, guys. how? No, wait. Clubsy oh, the seal? Oh, 
Oh, look at him. Oh He's my so god. I just want to like, yeah, I just want to. Okay, I think you bought it. Plus, you're there. I'm here, boss. What? You know what to do. What? What? So it could be like a nuke or something. Oh, that was a cool effect. All hail Clubsy. All hail Clubsy. All hail Clubsy. All I mean, hail Clubsy. I'd join that cult. Would you join that cult? Yeah, join the cult. Join. Join. I feel like this should be like a, a plot of a winglet video. Clubsy the Seal Overlord makes an army. And that's where this all connects back to the globalists. It's a conspiracy. They're adding chemicals to these cute animal pocket cosmetics to control the frogs and enforce their ideologies on the hardworking mercenaries of the Badlands. Wait, do people actually listen to this guy? I'm pretty sure he's just messing with us, right? Nah, nah, nah. I, I he know. actually thinks all these crazy things he says is oh, true. No. He's just insane. But, like, haven't you seen his other videos? Look at he doesn't act like that. Blurred. If he really was crazy, he'd be acting like this all the time, right? It, it, it doesn't matter, dude. People listen to him anyway. Who's the so other guy? I know his one's beard. Regardless. Really? He just went on a huge rant about how everyone who wears Clubsy the Seal is part of a globalist mind control conspiracy. If people actually believe that and start accusing players of that, I'll eat my hat. Bonzo effect and all. Wait, no, what? no, back off, you freaking seal. I've got a right to bear shovels. I'll fuck you. Bear <laughs> shovels. <laughs> Look, look, man, I actually have no idea where this skit was going. It's a cute animal cosmetic. Like, it is. What else it's do you adorable. really want me to say about it? Builder's blueprints. This is the kind of player who will overthink oh, everything. Oh, okay. I was trying like, to figure Like, he'll try and logic his way through shit for the sake of being optimal all the time, but by the time they're done thinking about something and determining what the optimal late. thing to do is, they're already dead. Some crazy pirate guy just came in with a giant claymore sword, shield, and peg leg and just, like, ran him over. Yeah. Yeah. I love doing it. He's using those in place of his high damage explosive ordnance. Yeah, and he, and he just killed the guy trying to be smart about shit. It's, it's, yeah. I don't know. Like, my point is, these guys Falling sometimes the fail to realize that at its core, this game is pretty stupid, and sometimes it just pays Jesus. off to be an idiot. It's fun. Grizzled. This growth. one is usually used as a part of a hillbilly loadout, in which case they will absolutely 100% be using the banjo taunt. Uh, if they're not doing that, then it's being used ironically in a neckbeard loadout of some kind. And if that's the case, then some they probably have a bunch of Texas. chat binds that they pulled directly from r slash incel, and they'll probably be Mike spamming some kind of anime song. As far as using it as an actual beard cosmetic, okay. you really don't see this one used too much, and that's just because there are some way better options out there if you want to do that. And now we're going to find those. Garden Bristles? Okay, so I cut directly from the title card to a black screen and I cut the music. That means that this is going to be an ear rape joke, right? Okay, no? yeah, that's, that's kind of is obvious. Uh, okay, well, it? let's make this what, interesting. What's it gonna I'm going to give you three seconds to figure out what the ear rape joke is going to be. It's, it's a gnome beard, so yeah, go. Ah, uh, mm, not, uh, no idea. Bet you thought it was going to be Uncle Dane singing Hey Now You're a Keemstar, right? Yeah. What? Well, nope, it's Nomeo and Juliet, asshole. Deal with it. Nomeo. Oh my god. Oh my god, the air rape. The air rape is too much. Why is he spent time on that? I hope he didn't spend this one a lot has of time. It's a pretty similar stereotype to the builder. It's pretty cool. I like well, that one. It's just more blueprints. So, yeah. But I wanted to really separate them the because they take up different equip regions, which actually makes a bigger difference than you'd think. And he's got a lot of cool pocket cosmetics. And if you use the builder's blueprints instead of this, then that means you wouldn't get to use awesome cosmetics like Clubsy the Seal over here. Exactly. Oh no, Clubsy. Brainiac goggles. This guy is absolutely 100% a short circuit NG. He'll do everything he can to put himself in a situation where he can justify pulling it out, and now that it's been reworked so that it's alt fire as a Oh, I've never attack, touched that thing. Those situations come up way more Dragon often than you might think. And if there's more Dragon than one of them in the same hilarious. server, well, God help you. Oh no. Oh, oh my god. god. This game is actually an anime. Holy shit. <laughs> it's JoJo. All right, so I Dog talked about stereotypes video? about how Barnstormer and are pretty typical, normal team player types, but there's a very specific exception to this rule. If they're wearing it with the dogfighter, then they're going to be hyper aggressive and do really, really dumb shit. <laughs> okay, Let's do like this what? Texas style. What? Oh, hi, how's it going? Um, what's in the sky? Is that a UFO? Surprise. Surprise. 
prepare for pain. Oh, well. Pain. That needs some help. Oh, God. Did say remove random green crits? This is Pocket the Pyra. I hate spies with a burning passion cosmetic. <laughs> Why? If you see an engineer with this equipped, it's basically him giving a subtle hint that he wants someone to go Pyro and help him out. Uh, of course, if you wanted that, you could always just ask, but that's that's just yeah. way too straightforward. You gotta be ambiguous and passive-aggressive about everything, right, guys? Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. absolutely, you know. Right. Okay. Flared Frontiersman? This one is usually worn with the partner's pompadour and carries the exact same stereotype Elvis. as what I talked about in hat stereotypes. A gunslinger NG who gives himself just a little bit too much credit. Yeah, totally uh, I know, Elvis. that was a pretty simple Literally. one. Let's move on. Yeah, there's a lot in this one. Pip Boy? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is a Fallout thing. What Fallout game is this? <laughs> I don't know. I've only played 76. Oh, hi, how's it going? Obvious joke. Something actually well written and funny. Obvious joke. Obvious joke. Obvious joke. We're going with the obvious joke. And that thing is ugly. Oh my god. Are we just gonna go back and forth here? Any mini mini mo. This one Ant is a pretty Arctic generic Blizzard. shirt cosmetic, so there's nothing too special about it. As far as I know, you can't even paint it, so the only reason why people really use this is because it looks decent enough and it's easy to get as a strange. Yeah. Oh. I guess you don't see too many of these guys being all that aggressive. Bill, like, I'll, I'll, I've I'll, never I'll, seen an Antarctic researcher I'll, engineer I'll, go and charge an entire team with a Widowmaker or anything like that. Just kind of I love Battle NG. I don't know. I think my best game ever, my best performance ever was actually as bad. Cowboy me. loadout complete with the Frontier Justice, Gunslinger, and the Texas 10 Gallon, or some variant of that. There's a lot of them. Oh, what's that? You wanted to have fun this match? <laughs> That's cute. No. Have fun getting constantly peppered by this stupid thing at all times and getting punished for destroying it. Get fucked. Yeah. A face full of festive. I know he's coming up from the screen. Everything. There. This guy I'm is on actually stuff. completely obsessed with those stupid little Christmas lights. Like, everything he they're uses cool, but is they're not festive. that everything. amazing. It's actually kind of scary, if I'm being honest. <laughs> There's an addiction to lights. This guy's probably using the Popson, so he can just no, snap people No, nobody uses that. Oh, I hate that thing. It does not feel right. It's so bad. It's so b Gold digger. I ain't saying, saying gold he's digger. a Dane faker. But you know what? Actually, I stand by that statement. He ain't a Dane impersonator just because he's wearing an extremely common, versatile cosmetic that's arguably one of the best misks in Engie's entire beard slot. Seriously, stop <laughs> giving people slot. shit just for wearing cosmetics that community figures wear. It's stupid and only discourages people from wearing cosmetics that they think are cool or good looking. Fair, yeah. Scott Saver. Well, isn't his hat specifically this is the cosmetic just more expensive? That screams, just because it I want a good looking beard but can't wear the gold digger because. Uncle Dane. Holy fucking shit, is that Uncle Dane? Holy God. Is that bearded? Yeah, it's bearded. Yeah. If it's ear rape, it's bearded. This one is so common that you rarely see anyone assume something about a Scotch Saver engineer based off the beard oh, alone. Oh, whoa. So, I, I don't know. Go generalize and based off something else, dude. No. Endothermic exoware. Oh, hey, here's another one of those generic bad. shirt cosmetics that'll basically fit in any loadout. Except yeah. this time it's actually it's paintable. Bad. So. Oh, it is? Yeah. It's cool, better right? than the anyway, Antarctic one. It's basically one. used by anyone doing a double cosmetic combo, usually a hat and a beard of some kind. It just needs to fill out that third slot. It's just just really have to do boring. it. Let's, let's do more dumb sketches. More dumb sketches. Lazy NG set. Hey, man, what? we're kind of getting rolled here. Would you mind helping us out? Oh, or, my God. I don't know. Set up a sentry or a dispenser or something? Nope. Not getting out of me chair. <laughs> Okay, look, man, the, the whole lazy NG thing isn't nearly as funny as it was two years ago. It's been done to death. You mean, Just like, stereotypes? Come on, the only reason you're doing it at this point is for the money and to avoid the backlash you'd get for quitting mid-season. You pretty obviously hate making these. Wow. <laughs> Just let the payload okay, run over. Okay, that's fair. But we're still getting rolled here. Can you please just help us? No. <laughs> It's so funny. I don't know. Corpus Christi. This guy's absolutely using the El Blanco skin and telling uh, him to really. This is Overwatch. This is a different hey, game. Once in a while, he'll get a death blossom that. Wait, fuck. Dad, you can't talk about Overwatch. 
You can't. Oh, hey, here's another generic shirt cosmetic, but it's that okay because one's this one's off cool. limits. A well known community what? figure wears this one, man. Who? That means you're not allowed to wear it, even if you're just doing it because you think it, it looks cool. If you do, then that means you're just a wannabe. Tough shit. Holstered heaters. Another shirt cosmetic. Huh. Yeah, uh, and just get a lot of these. Kind of boring. Okay, well, the only place I really see this used oh. is on some police sets, like Law Macho Man, so, yeah. Law Macho Man. Just move on. Okay, Thermal really, another player. shirt cosmetic? Another one, yeah. Oh, this is getting out of hand. Let me, let me just switch to the next slide real quick. Next one's going to be another. Seriously? Yep, sure. Another one? Yep. Another one? How about another one? Uh, sombreros, I guess? Another one. Another one. Oh, come on, man. Oh, Dad right. does. I actually know that. That's actually not an alternate bad one. to the Eggheads overalls if you're doing the lazy NG joke for the 246,000th time. It, but seriously, man, NG has so many shirt cosmetics. All right, Way well, there's too still many. a little bit of good news. The timeline looks like there's room for one more stereotype, and that's always a unique sketch of some kind. So there's no way it'd be another shirt cosmetic. It's going to be a shirt. <sighs> okay. All right, here we go. But little it did is... Soundsmith know, he was in the final sketch the entire time. Are you what? fucking serious? El Paso Poncho? That's the cool difficulties. <laughs> oh, he just... Okay, he just got... He it. left. He All left right. again. Uh, he rage quit again. He's not it's not dead anger, though. Okay, so... Uh, medic's next. And, uh, just... So, you know, just comment about that. Leave a comment down below. Whatever he usually has you guys do. Yeah, whatever yeah. it is. Alright, well, uh, I'm gonna go back to my channel. You know, where the Who content's actually channel? good. Oh, got him. Got him. I have a patron. I also read every comment, so leave some down below. Oh, God. Let me know what series or TF2 videos you want to replace. It might be the comics dubbed by the beard. You know, that, that might be what happens. I'm not sure. It's not decided yet. Would you be interested in that? I'm sure you'd be interested in that. I don't even know how long that would even take to watch. I don't really know. I don't really know anything about the comics. I did the Tracer versus uh, Scout Death Battle, and there was a little bit of the comics in that, and everybody was like, yes, do the comics. You all loved that video, or loved my video of it. You didn't like the outcome. So, <laughs> but it is what it is. I really hope you enjoyed this video, though. We got three more to go, and then I guess I'm going to have to watch other Sound Smith videos. Oh, bummer. If only he didn't make great videos that I really enjoy. So we're definitely going to uh, be watching some more Soundsmith coming in the future. Uh, like he has other series that are really good that feature other YouTubers that are probably less of the same. Because that's what stereotypes are. They're more or less just the same thing over and over again. Just different jokes and different things. And I'm learning about cosmetics and items I didn't even know existed in the game. So I really hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, check out the gaming channel. Check out some other videos if you're interested in that. I'd greatly appreciate that. Hope to see you next video. Hopefully I made your day better. But until then, take care and cue the music. So